On the 8th of August 2014, after years of planning and 21 months on site, the new building for the Faculty of Architecture, Building and Planning was handed over to the University of Melbourne. This is an exciting moment for the faculty, for the whole university and for the many people who've worked so hard on this fantastic project. With this new building, the University of Melbourne has created a world-class centre for research and teaching for the Melbourne School of Design. And the built environment reflects the work of a wide range of professionals in architecture, landscape architecture, construction, planning, property, and of course, design. The new building brings them all together in quite a spectacular way. And now, let's go inside. Join me for a tour of the new building in all its glory. And let's hear from some future users just what it will mean for the university's Melbourne School of Design. I was overwhelmed when I saw it nearing completion. I'm sure that everybody coming here will be amazed when they go inside. I'm looking forward to being in it with the students and the staff in their rooms and watching it work. The new building facilitates social spaces. It's actually difficult not to collaborate because you're all in like a literal physical think tank that's going to generate a lot of innovation and a lot more understanding of what all the disciplines do together. It's really an exciting time to be part of Melbourne School of Design. Students and staff will be able to observe for both teaching and research purposes the performance of the building in all sorts of ways. I think this building offers a lot of opportunities for students to learn. A lot of the building elements have been left exposed, so for us architecture students who are very visual, we can get to understand not only the building process, but also to appreciate the inner working of the buildings and to appreciate all the building elements as well. One of the approaches I think that the design team have taken is to open up that whole ground floor. The ground floor becomes a route through the building. We really see ourselves as flowing inside the building and out into the greater landscape. I know that that really inspires students and that's why I'm really looking forward to moving in. The collaborative learning space is very good for um, teaching students. Other faculties can kind of walk through and look at what we're doing and it's really exciting for us because we get to share our projects with the rest of the university. That whole public realm strategy is something that I think shows a level of respect for the campus environment. But importantly as you're drawn through that, so as other disciplines from around the university start to use that space as a shortcut, what they'll get to see is the library as a historical source of knowledge on one side, and a lab, so the fab lab becoming this place for prototyping, testing ideas. So we've got these two things anchoring the building at the street level. And I think that's a really important thing. The atrium in this building will be an important space for all students. Students from one discipline will pick up information and learn from students in another discipline. In this kind of space, the students will learn unexpectedly. They'll enhance their learning. There's a lot of communal space for students to get together, to talk, to chat. It is very important for design students to share ideas, to debate, and it's also very important to build up your support network. As design students, we don't have to just look at the interior, but at the exterior as well. We can sit here and like enjoy ourselves, take a break, and also interact with our friends and other students from other faculties as well. We will now have spaces where we can really start to see how we are in the greater part of the campus. The staircase becomes part of the theatre of the whole building, so there's a kind of drama around the circulation. So it doesn't feel as if you're going to be shut off in a corner trying to get between floors. The notion of the staircase become an important architectural component in the building. I think makes students really think about what, you know, staircases and ramps and access and the importance of them. My reaction looking at the building in the last week or so has been the extraordinary expression of collaborative work by the two architects, the construction company, and of course by the client. The new Japanese garden sits on the very top level of the building. It sits centrally, spanning across the breadth of the Joseph Reed facade, so there's sort of a nice 
interrelationship between two things that are distinctly different. But for the first time, it then breathes life into the Japanese room as the Soji panels actually draw back then to reveal a Japanese garden. I'm very pleased. This is a good introduction or a good start of the study of Japan. The relationship between outside and inside, this is very much the Japanese style. This is very rare, this kind of a job, you know. Very rare, very rare. So we took it apart and we bundled it all up. And it was all very tricky how it was all put together with all the little hidden bolts and nuts. It was, yeah, very good. I want to thank everyone who's helped to realise this project. It's been a remarkable process bringing this to its very successful conclusion. A very wide range of people have helped and we could not have done this without you. So thank you very much for everything you have done. What is absolutely delightful about this project is that it's been made possible by the wonderfully generous support of members of our local and extensive international communities. And I want to thank all associated so much for making the project possible. To have people accessing the site on a regular basis, to have so much scrutiny over that design process and that construction process is something that's not easy. So on behalf of the faculty, I think it's important to thank the design team and the construction partners for making something that is so complicated, so accessible to students and staff. I'd really like to thank the university for giving us the opportunity to have this fantastic new building. It's not just a beautiful building, but it's very functional as well. I'm just in my first year of my degree, so I have many more years to go in the new building, which is really exciting. I hope you've enjoyed that quick tour and that you'll agree that exciting and inspiring days are ahead in the new building for the Melbourne School of Design. I do hope you'll come and see it. Join us at the celebrations for alumni, donors and supporters on December 11 and 12 this year or we'll see you in the new academic year of 2015. But let me say a warm thank you to everyone who has made this long-held aspiration finally a reality.